My research is focused on developing high-resolution 3D bioprinting technologies for a variety of applications in biomedical engineering. We use these 3D printers to design and build soft robotic devices powered by living skeletal muscle. Our latest study demonstrates that the muscle used to power our biobots can be genetically engineered to enable control via light stimulus. This type of light control, called optogenetics, gives us an easy way to forward engineer muscle-powered biobots with more complex functional behaviors. The skeletal muscle rings we engineer are shaped like rings or rubber bands because we want them to be modular. This means we can treat them as building blocks that can be combined with any 3D printed skeleton to make biobots for a variety of different applications. Here, we see me picking up the muscle rubber band with sterile tweezers and transferring it to one of our one-leg walking biobots. We all know that exercise makes muscles stronger. Because our biobots are made with optogenetic or light-controlled muscle, we can exercise them using light. Comparing the control group biobots that haven't been exercised with the exercise group biobots that have been exercised shows us that exercise biobots produce more force, as expected. This is the first demonstration of light-induced improvement in muscle functional performance. When optogenetic muscle is triggered by a blue light stimulus, it generates a contractile force. When this muscle is coupled to a 3D printed skeleton, this contractile force can be converted into useful work. Here we use blue light to control a one-leg biobot that walks across a substrate. We have previously published work on biobots controlled by an electrical stimulus, but an optical stimulus is desirable for many reasons. It's less invasive than electrical stimulation, and it can be used to selectively stimulate only regions of muscles that you want to activate. For example, when you stimulate a completely symmetric two-leg biobot electrically, the two muscle rings contract equally, and you observe no net locomotion. However, when you stimulate a two-leg biobot optically, you have the option to stimulate one muscle ring or parts of a muscle ring. In this way, you can make the biobot walk in one direction or another, or rotate in any direction you choose. 